So in this video I'm going to be taking you through the Windows Firewall configuration and to start we're going to click on the Start menu, go to Control Panel and then go to Administrative Tools and click on Local Security Policy. We're going to maximize this and we're going to go over to the Windows Firewall and Advanced Security Settings. We're just going to expand that a little bit. We're going to click here, Local Group, and you can see here that Windows Firewall State has not been configured for any of them. Domain Profile, Private Profile, or Public Profiles. So we're going to click on Windows Firewall Properties here. And we're going to set the firewall state to on, recommended, and the inbound co connections to blocked, and the outbound connections to allow by default. We're also going to click on Customize, and we're going to uh, choose to display a notification. We're not going to allow unicast response because, as I mentioned in my other videos, this is the only computer on the network. We're going to apply local firewall rules as our default, and local connection security rules as our default, and click OK. Then we're going to go down to logging and we're going to uncheck the not configured so that we can log our firewalls. We're not going to log our drop packets because otherwise our log files would get really big. And we're going to not log our successful connections because we know Click they're okay. Secure. And now you can see that the domain profile, private profile, and public profile are configured. So the next thing we need to do is select our inbound rules and we're going to create our inbound rules, things that are allowed into our computer. We're going to create a new rule, predefined. And these are all the services that Windows uses. Now a lot of these we, we might recognize from Windows 7 services video that we've already gone through. And this is uh, simply just a method of ensuring that our firewall is going to block some of these connections. So we're just going to go through and we're going to set up each one of these as predefined, next, and block the connection. And we're going to do this for each one of them. Okay, so now we're going to set up the outbound connection rules. We're going to predefine the services that are already uh, disabled and all the ones that are currently enabled as well. We're going to block those as well. And finish there. Alright, so now that we have all of our outbound and inbound rules defined as uh, blocked and outgoing, we just need to concentrate on some of the ones that we know we need to allow. Well, we can do this by selecting the remote ports and that way we can actually see which ports we're connecting to and from. Now the only ones that we really need are for network discovery and those ports will be located on port, f well port 53, that one is actually our DNS so we're going to require that one. So we can go to properties and we can allow the connection. Allow the connection. Apply. And then the next one we're going to be looking for is port 6867 and this is our network discovery. So we're going to allow this one. Now inbound is about the exact same. So we can simply just scroll to the right side here, take a look at our uh, local port addresses, and just look for 6867 and port 53. 6867 is our uh, discovery for our local area networks. This is how we actually obtain an IP address with our router or modem. And we also need any port 53. I don't believe there is a port 53 for the inbound. There we go. So that is everything for the Windows Firewall uh, security settings. That should uh, aptly protect us. Um, now if we wanted to, later on I will be hosting a video about authentication communication between computers using IP security protocol. But this, th this is something that you will be doing only on a local area network. So now we're just going to double check and we're going to make sure that these settings are working properly. I'm going to enable my uh, Wi-Fi and I'm going to connect. There we go. And now we should be able to open our browser go and just to double check that we're getting an IP address we're gonna go to msn.com and there we go so our Windows firewall is active we've defined all of the outbound and inbound connections that are allowed 
and I hope this has been a helpful video. Thanks for watching.